Oh, what a nasty day. Oh, it's raining. But heard the doorbell ring. Ooh, ooh. We got some BMR love. Look at that. <laughs> So I know all of you guys have been really waiting for me to actually start modding my car back here. And today is the day. So we got a little love from BMR and I do want to personally thank them. They are a new sponsor for the channel. And uh, I love them. I love them as a company. These guys are great. They are unlike some of these other companies. Just, just a real quick shout out. So BMR only does suspension, only. You know, they're not like some of these other companies that kind of like dibble dabble in it. They only do suspension. Their stuff is cost effective and it works. All right, guys, here we go. BMR CB010 Cradle Bushing Lockout Kit Level 1. This is arguably the very first thing that you should do. You should buy, spend your hard-earned money on when it comes to getting rid of wheel hop in your S550 Mustang. So let's open it up and take a look. All right, let's start off. We're probably gonna have, yep, some stickers, cool. And I would imagine these are some instructions. They are, set that to the side. And then neatly packaged, look at this. You have all of your bushings. And we're gonna open them all up and talk about what they do, and why you should buy this kit, how much it costs, the whole nine yards, everything. Don't need that anymore. Alright guys, so this is everything that is included with this kit. All the pieces and essentially what this is, is a CB005 kit light. It comes with all the bushings that you would get in that other kit without having the other arm. And uh, we're going to crawl underneath the car and I'll show you why you may or may not need that other piece, the full CB005 kit. At a bare minimum, these bushings for your cradle, your IRS, is something that you have got to have. So all S550 Mustang owners are at some point going to run into wheel hop. And this is going to eliminate about 90% of that, possibly 95. With just this kit, it's around 100 bucks. Now also, real fast, before we move on to the install, bmrsuspension.com okay i'm gonna link it all in the video and below as always but you're gonna go to these guys and you're gonna use code xander7 and that's gonna save you a giant chunk off okay it worked out a deal with these guys that you can save some serious money if you use xander7 as a promo code but you got to go directly through bmrsuspension.com to do that all links are going to be down in the description as always so yeah definitely check them out all right, so here we go. We're going to get started with the installation. So first thing we do is jack up this car. And if you don't know, I already have the BMR jacking rails under the car, which is super convenient. That's something I really, really want to point out when it comes to everything BMR is all of their stuff is priced as it should be. They don't hype anything up. And you can really get by with eliminating near 100% of your wheel hop with some of these kits for very, very little money. But definitely if you use that, that Xander 7 code, you're going to save even more so. All right, guys, so with the car safely in air, this is pretty much what you're going to need tool-wise. You're going to need torque wrench, uh, power tools, whatever you've got, and then a 13-millimeter socket, and then a 21, which is also conveniently the same one for your lug nuts there. And then you may or may not need a pry bar, and you may or may not need to lower down the back of your exhaust, but I'm going to crawl under here, and this is what we're looking at. So this bracket here is would be replaced by the CB005 kit, okay, which I've done plenty of videos on in the past. I'll link them above so you can check that out. And it gives some additional support, and it also has a, uh, a centering sleeve built in for this guy right here for that bolt, that subframe bolt. But we're not going to do that today. We're just going to do the bushings, and then we're going to race the car. You know, we have a track event this weekend, so. And then later on, we're going to come back and do a follow-up. And then we're going to add the CB762 kit that basically ties in back here and then to the other part of the subframe, which will supposedly get rid of 100%, up to 100% of all of the movement back there without any added NVH. And real quick, I want to talk a little bit about the NVH. Okay, with this kit, there is none, no NVH. All right, some of these guys are doing other like hard 
bushings and all this other stuff that you have to do to these these you know the companies sell all kinds of crazy stuff bmr doesn't want you to do that they want you to start small and they have the stuff priced right and it gets rid of all that without any added nvh because some people may not care but this is my daily driver and i want a solid rear end but i don't want to i want to be able to you know live with the car and this kit everything that bmr offers allows you to do that it's very important so Let's go ahead and get to it. There we go. All right, to make life easy, we are going to also take all of this apart. If you have Magna Ride, you want to pull up on your stuff here. Just make sure that nothing is gonna hang up whenever you pull this down so that's a 10 millimeter bolt there for your brake lines you're just gonna take that bracket down these are 18 here disconnect your magna ride up there and you don't have to mess with the sway bar because you can do this on both sides and make sure that you have a jack underneath of the iris pumpkin right there so whenever we start dropping the entire cradle side by side slowly that everything that nothing's gonna get messed up and then you got thir two 13 millimeter bolts there there on each muffler i'm going to go ahead and disconnect that also make sure if you do have active exhaust you want to disconnect that as you drop this as well just to give a little bit more clearance no big deal so hopefully this video as we go through it will be able to help you guys out and then save you some money you know during the whole process as well definitely hit the like subscribe button and as always turn the notification bell on and you know i definitely really really appreciate it, it helps the channel grow helps us get us out there and uh you know we're just getting started with this whole experience so we would like to definitely hit you know at least 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year i think that's possible with your help i definitely 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 really appreciate that and uh, i love all of you guys you guys are awesome Those two top ones are 13 millimeter. We're gonna take this out. And then that guy right there in the center of the screen is a 21. And I'm gonna remove these brackets and then thread that bolt back in. What I'm gonna do, instead of dropping the entire cradle all at once like a spring install, um, just a, you know, it's kind of a hassle if you drop the whole thing. It's definitely possible, it makes it easier just to get, a fight, get it back in, is we're gonna go side by side. And what I found from past experience is it just makes life a little bit easier. So if you're doing the CB005 kit, you're gonna be replacing this bracket here with that other arm. With this kit, you're gonna keep it. It's pretty, you know, it's pretty heavy duty. It's solid steel, stamp steel. But like I said, we're gonna do this level one kit and then later we're gonna come back and do the 762 kit uh, to make this thing pretty much bomb proof. You know, a 762 fires from AK-47, so it's gonna be pretty much bulletproof, I would think. I don't know if there's any, uh, you know, subliminal message behind the, the 762 long arm but you'll see that here on this channel in the near future but uh yeah i think bulletproof is definitely the right word to use for that so now i'm going to thread this bolt back in a little bit because i'm not going to drop it completely but while i have it out if you're running the cb005 kit i'll link all pictures and stuff like that but it's going to come with a centering sleeve here See how this will go back and forth? And when you put it all together, it goes back pretty solid, but it'll fill the gap. So there's gonna be another uh, kit that BMR is working on. So if you wanna do this level one kit, uh, they're gonna make some centering sleeves. So I know I'm talking a lot, but I want you guys to have an education on what to do as far as suspension, because there's a lot of misinformation and a lot of companies try to oversell you on stuff. And I think that it's important to give you guys the right information and, uh, you know, it definitely helps you out and your bank accounts as well. You know, some of these companies are out there to get rich. BMR is not one of them. They just make a product that works, again, that is cost effective. All right, so there is one cradle bolt. You're gonna come onto the other side there and that blue bolt right there is what you're gonna be working with. So you're gonna drop that guy down too on this side. Now you can see that I've got plenty of clearance there. I've got lots of spacing. I left the bolt pretty much in. So it's just hanging a little bit and then same is true on the other side. 
All right, so for the front, you have this guy there. It's going to go on the bottom. And then you have two of these. You've got one that's skinnier, and you're going to take your big fat one, and it goes on top there in the front. And this is why this kit's so important. So you got all this soft rubber that's in here. You can see that I can just push it with my finger, you know. And all of this under hard acceleration deflects, and you have a lot of movement, excess movement in your independent rear. So we're going to eliminate all of that with this this simple kit so we're gonna drop these bolts out we still have the irs supported with the jack and then you know put them in and it's simple this whole thing is is really really easy so for the rear this is going to go on the bottom and it's this is not like a full circle here let me see if i'm gonna get shot yeah, you see how that looks, and it's going to cradle that so you get let, rid of all that movement. So you get rid of all that movement, and then the other piece is going to go up top, and it's just going to cup on top. Pretty simple, very easy kit. All right, so again, we have our fat one, and it's going to go on top like that. Make sure that it sits and is secure, and the bottom is going to go like that pretty much, and then you're going to put it all back together. All right, so underneath of the car, this is how that looks with the smaller one. It pinches the center there, and it doesn't allow this rubber to expand either way, you know, to the outside of it. Um, and it centers all of this right there. You can tell, hopefully, on camera. But it's very, very secure. You've got to give it a good push, which is a good thing. You don't want any movement at all. And then again, the top just sits on top just like this and doesn't allow for any of that other rubber on top to move. This whole thing secures it 100%. Very, very easy, perfect fit. All right, so for the rear, this is how this looks. You got the top piece there, and then that silver piece is in a cradle just like that, so it doesn't move, the bolt doesn't move inside of that, and it locks it down perfectly. All right, now, so I've got everything back going together. I'm going to leave most of this pretty much loose. I'm going to tighten it down just enough, but leave room for the other side. But get all your bolts started. Get them about halfway up or so is how I do it on the back side as well. And then we'll jump to the other side, repeat the process, and that wraps it up pretty much. Now, also to note, once you have everything going back together and the other side is complete, you're going to torque the subframe bolts to 129 pound-feet. Don't skip that step. If you have any popping or anything like that when you're driving, make sure that you have everything retorqued to spec and you should be good to go. All right, guys, that wraps up this video. We have the car here looking super sharp and ready for the racetrack with no wheel hop. And again, we're going to come back. We're going to do the 762 kit. That is the ultimate plan and get rid of all of the, if any, wheel hop that is in the car that all of these things are plagued with whenever you have an independent rear. I will say that Magnaride does help with wheel hop in my experience. Uh, so that is an option if you're looking to buy one of these. Maybe don't skip that step. You know, I think that Magnaride is definitely worth it. And as far as your suspension that goes, look no further than BMR, honestly. You know, hopefully you found some value in this video. Hopefully you found it informative. Drop a like if you liked it, um, and then definitely subscribe. It, it kind of seems like a lot of YouTubers don't know how to work on their own cars. Um, I've been doing this since I was a kid, so it is kind of right up my alley, and BMR makes great stuff. They really do, um, so definitely go check them out. And other than that, I'll see you guys at the racetrack. Be careful if you're racing. Be careful on the street and bad weather, all that good stuff, and I'll see you later.